Mm-hmm. Now, is, in, your, in your publication that you do, um, do you take this on a national level? Is this a publication that's sent out? Do you also help advise people on how to sell this magazine so they get something a little different than actually just publishing, but actually sales and marketing? That's yeah. what we do yes. over at okay. RSM. Okay. We do the training. We have training facilities over there, okay. and then they hire the, uh, uh, it's called Earning While Learning. Okay. Mm-hmm. After they've learned how to market a little bit, we have training stations, then uh, Mr. Mata and uh, Mr. Molina hire them, and then they take them into learning the actual ins and outs of publishing. Okay. Mm-hmm. Do you also, Raul, do you also talk to them about uh, what it's like to be in a professional environment? I mean, it's not yes. so much learning the job, but right. how do you deal with people, uh, you, co-workers, and things like that? What do you, what do you tell these folks? Well, ba- basically the way I, uh, the people that I work with are um, in, in the area, the publishing area, mm-hmm. is in the area uh, with journalists. Okay. I work a lot with journalists because, you know, we need journalists. And we are in a national level. Uh, um, we are in about 10 different states right now, Co3 magazines. We're also in Canada. So I do deal with, with certain people that, that uh, um, I teach them how to, uh, I think one of the areas we were talking about, networking. Mm-hmm. How to network with different uh, organizations, how to get uh, endorsements, uh, how to provide a service for them. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I'm happy to say that your, uh, your publications have also received the endorsement of the Latino Police Office. So, yes. so yes. congratulations to um, you on that. And that's Felipe Ortiz, who's the vice president. Excellent. He's the one that got us the endorsement. What kind of success rate do you have, Lou, with, with this program? So right now, I'm, uh, my MOUs, my uh, training program, is working with the San Francisco Veterans Center. We train approximately, you know, oh, seven to ten uh, every couple months for them. We also work with uh, uh, Bob Gordon at the Tenderloin Housing Clinic, which is the lo- largest uh, transitional housing uh, uh, facilities in uh, the San Francisco area. Their employment specialist, Bob Gordon, he sends me uh, trainees all the time. So in the last few years, we've trained several. We've had, you know, moderate success. You know, mm-hmm. we we'll always need funding. You know, that's why I wrote, part of why I wrote the book the recovery survival guide that some of the funds from that and the t-shirts and the bumper stickers help us to f- uh, to fund the Do you program. get federal grants or state grants? We, we've well? applied for the San Francisco's continuum of care. Okay. Now how successful we'll be, we don't know that yet because we're new and they want a uh, like you know 15 year track record but in oh, fact wow. the yeah. programs with the long track workers, I'm not saying they do a wonderful job. Sure, we have some good sure. programs here in the city but none of them provide, they provide the services in a fragmented sense, like some do just substance abuse, some do just residential treatment, some do uh, detoxification, some do the methadone thing. We don't uh, uh, try to fragment it, we try to provide the services, drug and alcohol free, the job training along with the outpatient aftercare services. We can take court referrals, we can do the um, the whole program under one roof. And you do a lot of different kinds of things too. Uh, testing skills, I guess. There was something about aptitude oh, yeah. testing you do. Oh, yeah. A lot of different things that go on. So your program's a little different in that sense because you're, you're giving somebody the whole package. Yes, we are. In other words. Yes, we are. And then, uh, like, the only thing that we don't do is provide the on-site jobs yet. Right, right. right. What we do is we have an employment specialist. From that point, once I have a person who's done with the marketing at training, then I'll call to Raul and to right. Tony at their number, which is one eight 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 three four six one seven four five. They do the hiring. Do okay. you see what I mean for the right. for the code three? They have more than one publication. Right. Oh, see good. what I'm saying? Good. They have uh, they are, are do uh, specialize in police and fire okay. uh, publications. Tony, what what other publications do you do besides? Uh what okay. we saw here. Well, aside from what we have with Code 3, we're in the process of trying to develop a new publication with the Boy Scouts of America. We are placed on the executive board with them on the council board, and they want to generate new life to reach out to the youth, to the explorers. Hopefully to Latino youth. Hopefully. Yeah. My heart is yeah. to let's reach where home ground is. Since we're there, let's reach out to where it's needed first, because mm-hmm. that becomes a prime example. Mm-hmm. We have other people that are successful in the industry that want to participate with us. We, uh, opportunities are just coming our way, but it's really how we represent ourselves. Right. Because people look to us and they say, well, where do you come from? So we're able to share with them a little bit of our background, where we come from, and where we're trying to achieve our goal. What would you say is the hardest experience for you? Has it been working with the younger group, uh, younger kids that, that come to your program, or some of the older ones that maybe have been too seasoned to change? Well, the older ones that have been too seasoned to change, they are willing to submit after they've seen success. And like understanding some of the people that we've dealt with and friends that we've dealt with, it's hard for them to understand how Raul could play with the Dodgers 
and still have opportunity to talk to many other sports people. Right. So they say, how did this guy make it? So again, our opportunity comes. Again, they say, well, what are you doing with the magazine? And they start to grab hold that this vision is taking place. Okay, let me, uh, let me stop you guys because uh, we've got about 30 seconds left. I wanted to shoot up a number up on the screen. For those of you who are watching at home, I'd like to get more information. Recovery Survival Network, 415-552-1111. Uh, Toll-free number, 1-888-USE-NONE. That's U-S-E-N-O-N-E. -N -N -E. They have a web page, uh, www.adwaves.com.rss. Uh, I'm sorry we were running out of time there. I wanted to thank Lou. Thank uh, you. Good luck with this program. It's thank a wonderful you very program. Much. My hat's off to you. And it's a fresh program. I'm sure you're going to do fine. Thank Raul you. and Tony, thank you very much for being here as well. Coast View Publications is going, and I uh, look forward to seeing you yeah, more. We're also looking forward to work with Lou. That's I, great. I think it's that's a, great a great combination. Program. I'm really glad great to see program. that. So, and good luck to you, okay? Thank you. All right. Don't go away. We're coming.